What's going on, YouTube? This is your friendly neighborhood Draft Kings Attic bringing my top picks for Sunday's main NBA DFS slate. All right, guys. So before you get started, uh, go ahead and drop a like for me on the video. It really helps me out a lot. Uh, thank you to the 40 or so people yesterday. They hit the like button for me. I do appreciate you. And uh, if you're new to Draft Kings Attic, don't forget to subscribe before you go. And as always, guys, drop your comments. Let me know who you love, who you hate. All right, guys. So. Uh, yesterday we had a pretty nice uh, uh, uh set of plays guys so i mean if you played a lot of the plays that uh, i suggested uh, you were in a pretty nice spot all right so here go one of my lineups where i hit uh 328 i had another one where i hit 331 and i believe i had another one where i hit like 320 or something like that so a couple of them just uh, just over 300 points so if you played those lineups that was enough to uh to um cash and cash games i think cash games had about uh 308 uh cash line so james harden though guys man beast mode man 86 draft kings points and Dunsick, shout out to him too man oh and jimmy butler put up 50 but Dunsick, this kid had like 40 points at halftime at that game man so he was on fire so um nice slate guys nice results for me i hate i played light because i had some fire lineups but it's all good though we live to fight another day right all right so let's go ahead and get into it draft dashboard is my tool of choice all right, there's a 30-day trial for one buck. The link is in the description of this video if you want to try out these tools. This is what I personally use to um, <clears throat> research my DFS uh, lineups because uh, all information is in one place, easy to find. So going to the position optimizer today, we have a massive three-game slate. <laughs> so uh, we know we got some uh, major uh, um, sports um, events going on today. Uh, you ever heard of it called, called a Super Bowl? All right. Even though we know uh, Tom Brady probably going to win it, right? You know, the script has been written. <laughs> but now, I'm shooting for the Rams personally. But uh, drop a comment below. Let me know who you, uh, who you, who uh, who's your favorite for the Super Bowl game today, guys. Are you, are you going for the Rams or are you going for the Patriots? All right. So, at point guard, guys, I'm going to give you my top plays for each position. And then uh, we, uh, we'll go from there. So, for me, Dennis Smith Jr. starting against Memphis, who has been trash lately, um, being Memphis. I, I like Dennis Smith Jr. in his new role on this team. In New York, all righty, getting the start. Um, it's already been released that he's going to be starting um, today. So um, they didn't say anything about the other guys right here. Dennis Smith Jr. is expected to start, but they didn't say that about um, Wesley Matthews and DeAndre Jordan. So keep an eye on the news. Um, we'll keep out on that. But Dennis Smith Jr., I love him in his new uh, new spot, 5K, going up against Memphis. And the game is projected to be pretty tight, all right? It's only one-point differential, all right? So, I do like Dennis Smith Jr. at 5K. I think he'll be able to pay off that value and then some. He should be able to give us 30-plus DraftKings points. All righty. So, 5K, pretty decent value there. All right, next up, um, wh whichever point guard is starting on the other side of that game, I want. So, if it's Conley, I want Conley. If it's Mac, I want Mac. So, keep an eye on the news. But right now, I'm thinking Conley is going to be out. Um, he had an issue with his left knee. Um, so it's uncertain if he will play today, but whichever one is starting, that's what I want. But right now I'm going to go with Shelvin Mack because I'm thinking that Conley sits, sits again. But, hey, whichever one starts is who I like. So that's my point guard. So that shooting guard, again, these are not my only players, guys. These are my favorite players. So people like Westbrook and Kyrie Irving are, you know, for sure going to be in my player pool. But um, I'm going to watch the news and see what uh, what news comes out between now and the games. So we only got about two hours before 9 o'clock, so. Uh, next up, small forward. Um, I don't have any small fours, guys, picked at the moment. But I was looking at Justin Holiday. All right, the guy is 4.4K, playing 30 or so minutes. We got a lot of injuries in Memphis. Game time decision is going to be uh, Mr. Jaron Jackson Jr. Matter of fact, if he starts, I want to play him, Jaron Jackson Jr. But we got Kyle Anderson still out. Um, we got Parsons out. We got Temple. That's a game time decision. Caspi out. Brooks out so we got a lot of guys out for this team and that could mean extra run for Mr. Holiday and again this guy you know he gets the minutes but sometimes he produces sometimes he doesn't but at 4.4k if he's going to get 35 plus minutes versus New York in a, in a one point differential game um, I want some of that and so but keep it on the news depending on the Jaron Jackson Jr. plays if Jaron Jackson Jr. plays I like him so next up power forward I'm, I'm sorry small forward <laughs> All right, so Jason Tatum and Marquise Morris, man. I like both of these guys in this game. When it comes to OKC, I like to attack them at the small forward and power forward. 
All right, yes, I know they got Paul George, who's a beast when it comes to defense. But if you look at Jaron Jackson, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Jason Tatum, he has done well versus OKC in the past, and so has Mr. Morris. And so at 5K, these guys are a decent value and one of the highest over, uh, actually, D high, well, yeah, they're tied up for highest over in the game, but this game is projected to be a close one, you know, and this one's projected to be a blowout. So that being said, I like Jason Tatum and Marquise Morris. They have a couple of injuries there in Boston where these two guys should get some added run. As we can see, Baines is already ruled out. All righty. And so um, I do like uh, the chances of these both of these guys playing 30-plus minutes. All righty. In this game, that should be a close matchup. So give me some uh, Jason Tatum and Marquise Morris. Those are my uh, small forwards slash power forwards at the moment, my favorite ones. All right. And if you look at that, man, look at that. That boy Paul George is up to 10K on DraftKings. Woo! They find the justice price up, man. So, and I heard he's, uh, what is he, 12,000 yeah, 12, 12, over there on FanDuel. So, um, I'm not sure if I'll be paying up for Paul George against this tough Boston defense. But, man, that price tag is high. All righty. So, next up, we got Power Forward again. We already talked about Power Forward. For me, that's going to be Marquise Morris. Uh, but we also got uh, Mr. Ibaka as well. All right. 6K going up against Clippers, one of the worst teams when it comes to defending. Um, centers, which is what Abaka is playing, right? So he's the starting center right now with uh, Valanciunas out. So at 6K, he's a great value. All right, if you look at his history versus the team, 45, 25, and 33. All right, so of course I'm leaning closer to him getting 38 to 40 DraftKings points, all right, which is great for a guy that's 6K. So um, at 6K, I do like uh, Mr. Ibaka. Uh, Siakam, similar, uh, but, you know, but I I'm leaning toward Ibaka. Alrighty, so again, Jaron Jackson Jr., if he plays, I do like and I will be playing him, but um, I'm going to wait for that news to come out. So, um, Al Horford's been hot lately, but I don't know if I'm going to play him against Mr. Adams, but Baines is out, so that could mean extra run for Mr. Horford, but as you can see, he's only been playing 26, 24, and 29 minutes in the last three games, so still uh, playing limited minutes, so. Alrighty, next up at center, uh, this guy burned me yesterday, man, but I'm going back to the well. Because I got a feeling he's going to be low on because everybody else is going to be uh, keying in on that one game where he only put up 23 DraftKings points. All right. But at 7.8K with the potential to put up 59 DraftKings points versus New York. Yes, they have DeAndre Jordan. All righty. But should be a lot of rebounds to be had. And, um, again, Mike Conley may or may not be out. So keep it out on that news. But right now, I'm liking Mr. Gasol. All right. He has good history versus... Uh, New York, and uh, I'm going to run him. So, um, Joe Kim Noah, wow, this dude scored 30 DraftKings points. Woo, and he's on a 3.5K. All right, so that's that Memphis right there, man. So, woo, keep an eye on that, man. I'm going to have to have him in my value pool at 3.5K. Man, that's ridiculous. All right, so that's all depending on who we have as far as Jaron Jackson Jr. and some other guys being ruled out. But, uh, all right, guys, so it's only a three-game slate, so not much to look over right here, guys. So, um, once you get done selecting your, your players, your favorite players, quote-unquote, you can go over here to your lineup, optimize, and optimize your lineup. And as you can see, it's spent almost all of the salary, but you can go in here and tweak it as uh, as you feel need the need to be. So, like, for instance, if we don't want Rozier and we want to upgrade to somebody else, we can upgrade to Pat Bev, who's been hot lately, or we can go to Jalen Brown or Shelvin Mack or Dennis Schroeder. Maybe you're thinking that he's going to um, play off the bench and put up some good numbers. Whatever the case may be, you can go in there and adjust it. So um, I'm going to leave it. Actually, no, I'm going to go ahead and change it to Jalen Brown. He looks like he he ranks pretty well on here. So Jalen Brown at 90. Let me go ahead and get that. And so there you go. Once you like what you line up, you put save. And then also we have the mass lineup generator where you can go in here and generate 10 to 100 lineups. Click generate lineups. You're good to go. We also have the NBA cheat sheet that gives you all the top plays on the slate. So if, you, if you're short of time for researching, you can just go in here 20, I mean 30 to 40 minutes before lineups lock. Look at the cheat sheet, select a couple of players out of there that you like, lock, optimize some lineups, throw them in DraftKings or FanDuel, and you're good to go. All right, so here's my favorite plays at the moment, guys. So Dennis Smith Jr. at point guard, he's my play. Starting 5K, should get all the minutes he can handle. Um, Shelvin Mack or, or Mike Conley, whoever starts at point guard for Memphis is who I'm playing. All right, we got Jason Tatum over there for Boston, who had a, has a positive history versus um, OKC. So I'm running with him. We got Ibaka at my power forward at the moment. 
45 points in 24 minutes the last time they played the Clippers. All right. But as you can see, he's been playing well lately and getting sufficient amount of minutes. So hopefully that game stays close and he can get more DraftKings points. All right. Marcus All, I'm playing him even though he, he, he shat on us last game. He only played 26 minutes. All right. Put up 22 DraftKings points. All right. But I'm running them back this time again. I may regret that. But right now, my gut's telling me to play him. All right. And then I got Morris over here at, uh, at, at my Ford. Um, spot so again played 29 minutes put up 40 draft kings points i like him in this matchup at home versus okc prime time should be good to go all right so that leaves you 7900 per position so if you want to pay up for westbrook or paul george that still leaves you 5800 for your other guard spot or let's say you put paul george in there that leaves you 4800 for your other spot so they give you some options if you run this lineup right here or these these core plays so these guys will not be in every single one of my lineups, but I do like this particular pool of guys. All right, I haven't decided who I'm paying up for. But as of right now, if you put a gun to my head and say, okay, characters, who you're playing up for, I'm going with Westbrook. All right, so the guy has a potential to go off for 65, 70 DraftKings points. All righty, at 11K on a three-game slate. I'll take that shot at him. Then also Kyrie. Those are my two guys right now. All right, so... Good luck on today's slate, guys. I appreciate everything that you do. Don't forget to hit the like button for me. Again, it really helps out the channel. Uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And as always, drop your comments, guys. Let me know who you love and hate on the three games. So not a lot of options. So let me know about those sneak value plays that you like. Peace.